Most of the time you work with... With men that I meet through chance right, encounters. Right, which is also really scary and weird and yeah. kind of sad. Yeah. So... I mean, there's nothing more pathetic than like a chance encounter that you try to turn into something real. Laurel Nakadati is a New York video artist who has been likened to some of the great female powerhouses in the art world. Barbara Kruger, Cindy Sherman, and Louise Lawler have all come up in reference to her work. She's brought the idea of feminism to a completely modern and fresh perspective. She uses a mix of voyeurism, empathy, and straight-up sex to flip the idea of the hunter and the hunted. She is really hot, loves to show off her very impressive collection of panties, and, as I learned, is always, always the hunter. I mean, it doesn't sound good, does it? Like, I meet strangers on the street uh -uh. and I go home with them and make a video? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I did it again I made you believe We're more than just friends Oh, baby, it might seem like the crush But it doesn't mean Laurel's most well-known works up to now involve meeting lonely, lonely strangers, going to their houses by herself with a video camera, and then having dance parties and nude modeling sessions with them. It seems dangerous and totally exploitative, but at the same time, they're clearly enjoying themselves. I prefer for the men to approach me because okay. I feel like if a man approaches me and is interested in me, then maybe he'll be interested in making work with me. I feel right. like when I tr have tried to pursue men for videos, it never works out because... They just think that you're not in it. weird or yeah. crazy or yeah. something. Yeah. Well, those other men might think you're weird or crazy too. But they might also feel bad enough that they want to take part. I don't really try to, to think too much about what they actually want to do with me because then it will keep me up at night. But. I feel like that's all part of it, is taking these chances and constantly feeling out the situation and knowing when to leave. Right. It's like with anything in life, you know, you could go on a bad date with a weirdo and end up at his apartment and the only difference is you wouldn't be recording it. You really don't see them cross the line, like you right. see them almost so many times get right. to a point and that's what makes them so interesting, I right. think, is that... I think it is that like push-pull though and sort of going up to the edge and not quite going over it and then right. is it gonna go is it gonna go and it you know it doesn't and that's I think part of the allure of the videos is that you're not sure which this could go anywhere and where is it going right just us as viewers when we're when we're looking inside of their lives right you start to feel sorry for them hmm. and in a lot of ways it can be a little exploitative yeah, I mean, this question comes up a lot with my work. It's like, are you exploiting these men? How much of you is just laughing at them? And how much of you is right. actually having a moment with them? And I really believe that if they get joy out of the time that we're together, that's something positive. And I think, you know, if we enter all relationships thinking, let's enjoy what we're having right now, I think everyone would be a lot happier. But that's another thing is that sometimes you seem so distant in the videos, so disconnected from what their reality is, that it makes it seem like you're really an observer of this, right. of this life, this right. sort of pathetic situation and, I think and I'm, being able to well, I think I'm constantly trying to that. play with like them watching me, watching me, watching them, and this sort right. of, this sort of all of the different mirrors that start getting placed up. I'm like, I'm recording this, but they're watching me and they want something from me, but I want something from them. And I think it's this, this sort of power play that ebbs and flows throughout them that you're probably talking about. And like, yeah. sometimes I'll look right into the camera and it's clear that it's like, do you see what's happening here? Because I see what's happening here. And so this whole world can be going on behind me, but I'm having this moment with the camera or this moment with the viewers at this moment just with myself.